Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. So, some of you may be wondering, what is this mysterious boat that we keep seeing in the background of Moe's Garage's videos? So, I thought I'd do a quick introduction. So, this is my Paper Jet 14. Uh, this is a, a wooden uh, sailing skiff, a little over 14 feet, that uh, I built starting back in uh, 2010 and still has not seen the water. So, um, unfortunately, there's been other boats that have gotten in the way. Um, I had it mostly done in Phoenix, and then I moved to India, and then I moved to Elisa Viejo in California, then I moved back to Havasu. So anyway, every one of those moves kind of um, slowed things down. Um, and plus, I also had a couple other boats that I was working on. So now it's time for this little guy to shine. So again, this is, a I said, it's a little 14-foot sloop called a Paper Jet 14. It's designed by a South African gentleman named Dudley Dix, and I built it from plants. So um, there's a short little um, kind of a photo... Uh, slideshow after that shows it. And the reason I'm highlighting it is because we're going to be splashing this thing down for the first time ever in the next couple of weeks. Uh, a, few, a few of you may know I'm a bit of a wuss as it comes to cold water. So we're waiting for the water here and have the suit to warm up. Um, and then we're going to splash it down. My friend uh, Doug Ames, who we have a we both have a Hobie uh, Tandem Islanders, is going to let me borrow his trailer for it. Um, I do have a, a dinghy dolly for this, but it's not super stable, so we'll we'll have to uh, put it on top of this trailer. And I repurposed some supports that I had, believe it or not, for my airplane when I transported it, uh, to basically hold the back end of this uh, boat nice and solid. But yeah, so anyway, the, the masts are a work of art, if I do say so myself. Bird's mouth, um, so it's basically African cedar and poplar. The African cedar makes it super light. Um, the poplar gives it some strength. Uh, so, so as the boom, the mass is incredibly long. Um, and then, because uh, here's another section that goes on top of the mass. Right now, the dinghy is organized for transport. I'm hoping this will be good enough for what I like to call 35 miles an hour here in Havasu. Um, and I did actually make a couple of mass crutches. So I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. So anyway, yeah. So I'm excited to see what this is going to do. So it'll be fun. I'm pretty much guaranteed to go for a swim in this thing. Um, so it, when I first uh, ordered the plans, the, this boat has a couple of different uh, rig options. So there was a normal rig, and then there was what they called the turbo rig. The turbo rig was a several feet higher mass, a um, square top main. So this thing is slightly... Oversheeted is the way I would put, so I'm interested to see how it's going to work. So uh, the boat can be uh, sailed as a trapeze, although I don't have that. Um, it also has a bowsprit, and a spinnaker pole, and a spinnaker. The bowsprit is sitting on one of my shelves, So, um, but I don't think I'm going to be messing around with that anytime soon. So really, the first step is to get this guy in the water um, and then see how it does by itself. Um, my wife and I... Well, my wife was also nice enough to make a little handy dandy bag for the foils, the rudder, the tiller, etc. So anyway, um, you'll see a quick little slideshow after this, and then we will catch back up with you on launching day. So anyway, uh, enjoy. And uh, as I said the next one in this video will basically have us uh, jumping in the water, hopefully not saying, oh crap, this boat is sinking, <laughs> and hopefully uh, showing some sailing shots and actions. And uh, not too many of the bottom of the hull, but you never know. So, okay, good deal. Enjoy.
like this video, hit subscribe and give us a big like down below. Thanks for watching.